Hello everyone. In this video we're going to learn how to install Automate on your system. I'm using Windows 10 and Outlook 2016 for this uh, particular video, so let's get started. Before we actually install Automate, let's check a few prerequisites on your system to make sure that your installation goes smoothly. So the first thing we should check is that the account you're installing with has local admin rights. In other words, it has the ability to install and make changes on your system. Um, if we take a look at this particular system, the logged in user here is a fictitious user, John. He's got a local account and he is an administrator on this computer. In other words, he can make changes and uh, install software as he wishes. One quick way to tell if you actually have administrator rights is to take a look at your system properties and under computer name, domain, and workgroup settings here. If, um, if this change button is grayed out then you probably don't have local admin rights. In other words, you can't make any sweeping changes to your machine. So it's just a quick way to tell if you have local admin rights on your computer. Okay, the next thing is to check the user account control and it needs to be set a certain way so that the installation succeeds. Um, you can check that under control panel, then system and security, and then change user account control settings. And if you notice, it's three clicks up here. Notify me only when apps try to make changes to my computer. It's the default setting when you install Windows. So it's probably okay, but um, some, sometimes users will click this down a few notches because they don't want to be bothered with the warning pop-ups when they're making changes to their system. So if you do have it click down one or two notches, the installation will probably fail. It won't be able to run with elevated privileges and won't be able to properly connect it, the add-in with Outlook. So make sure it's at the default setting, at least three clicks up. Okay. Close this. The last thing you should take note of is that Automate comes in both 32 or 64 bit versions. Um, that's really to support the 32 or 64 bit versions of Outlook. So you need to determine which bit version you have so that you can match the corresponding Automate bit version. Now just because you have a Windows machine that may be 64-bit, that doesn't automatically mean that your Outlook version is 64-bit because you can run 32-bit version of Outlook on a 64-bit version of Windows. We're actually doing that here. So if we go back to system properties here, you can see that this machine here is a 64-bit operating system. but when we check Outlook, you can look under File, Office Account, and then the About Outlook button here. And you can see that this is a 32-bit version of Outlook. So we want to make sure that we install the 32-bit version of Automate. Okay, we're really ready to get started now. So I'm going to close Outlook so that the uh, setup program can make changes without you know, having Outlook open and interfering. So we'll change that. I've already downloaded the software. It's in my downloads folder. You see it's a single zip file here. If you look at the contents of the zip file, there's two files in there which we'll need to extract so you can select them and extract them out to your desktop like that. And now you want to run setup.exe to start the installation. So um, even though you can run the MSI file directly here, that will um, not succeed to install properly. It will not be able to uh, integrate the add-in with Outlook because it requires elevated privileges. And that's accomplished through the setup.exe program. So make sure you start the installation by running setup.exe and not the MSI file directly. The other thing here is some users will um, are used to running 
you know, doing a run as administrator. If you do that with this particular uh, setup program, you will not uh, see Automate integrated with Outlook. In other words, the installation will go through and it'll look like it's successful, but when you open up Outlook, you will not see any signs of Automate because it really, uh, what happens is it's uh, installing it for the admin user, and since you're not logged in as the admin user, then you will not see Automate integrated with Outlook. So this is a per user installation so you really need to you know run it as a local admin um, for it to succeed properly there is a way to actually run do a run as administrator and then connect it in manually we'll go through that in uh, another video so for this particular video we'll just do the the normal path where it's installed per the user that's logged into this computer so double click this you'll get a prompt warning you to uh, uh, proceed with the installation, making changes to your computer. You need to answer yes to that. And then um, we could just walk through the Automate setup wizard, which is pretty simple. Click next, and you could read through some release notes here. Then next again, if you want to enter your name and organization. Next again, and uh, just go through our standard license agreement. You need to click Agree to proceed. And then um, I recommend you keep the suggested default folder here. It's um, a 32-bit version of Automate, so it's going to place it in the program files x86. OK, click Next, and then Next again. And it should go through the installation, which is pretty quick. So we'll let that go through and complete, and we're done. So we could close this, and now we're ready to start Outlook. So let me start Outlook again. And when Outlook loads, you'll notice there's a new tab here named Automate. And this is where you access all the functions for you know, creating rules and um, setting up different options and features related to, to the add-in. Okay, you can actually bring up the rule manager quickly just to make sure that everything loads okay. You'll see that there are no rules here. If you um, are upgrading from a previous version, the first time you open up this rule manager here, you would be prompted to import your older rules. But since this is a brand new installation, then it just starts with a blank database. Now, if you don't see the Automate ribbon tab after installing, then something most likely went wrong with the installation. You could actually look under File, Options, and then Add-ins. Normally, Automate would be listed here under Active Application Add-ins, but it may, may well have ended up under Inactive Application add-ins or disabled application add-ins. So if it ends up in one of those two areas, then uh, please reach out to our support department to get some help and figure out what went wrong, and we'll provide you some guidance on how to get Automate installed properly. Okay, so we could close that now, and uh, um, in a future video, we'll learn a little bit more about the features of Automate and how to start creating rules. So I thank everyone for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.